Hello, in this video we will understand about the reproductive system of duck, the duck family we will understand about. This is different as compared to the hen. Previous video we was discussing about the hen reproductive system but in this video, so you can see here is the duck. The, there is different size and different structure but there is the same genus and you can understand this is living in the water as well as uh, for reproduction in terrestrial environment so let's begin to understand this is the copulatory process this is the uh, uh, insertion of the um, uh, male penis because it contain penis the male so in this way here is the female and this is the male female and male contain testes while the female contain ovary and this is the copulatory organ which that is the penis and this is more long so here is a vast difference used for the insertion of sperm and this is the penis and the penis is basically uh, you can understand this is and this is the shell gland and this is the penis end and this is the ovary you can see in this diagram so let's draw a bigger picture here this is the penis and remember one important thing the blind pouches are present here which that will inhibit the insertion of the sperm into the ovary so that is important thing you should need to understand so this is the penis uh, tip and this clockwise spiral of female vagina is here and this is the calcium carbonate secreting shell gland anyhow let's begin to understand the twisted sex what is the twisted sex? In mallard duck, a forced mating is common. So remember, forced mating is too much common. And with unwanted suitors, uh, for example, male, which that want to uh, sex to the female, forcing as many as 35% of the female's copulation. But the battle for paternity of her offspring doesn't end there the females convoluted uh, uh, corkscrew shaped vagina which has numerous blind pockets you can understand and pouch or yeah, pockets uh, can prevent the successful penetration by unwanted suitors such that 95 percent or more of uh, her chicks are fathered by her uh, partner male so that is why the partner male is mostly uh, can get the chance for their gene transformation into their chick but the other will not so remember duck it is an oviparous lays egg and required incubation for chick development so the development is external while the fertilization is internal remember so let's begin to understand the female reproductive system of the duck so in this way here is the development of the follicle in the in the ovary so this is i am drawing the stalk of ovary and this is the empty follicle required sperm to fertilization and this is the small ova will develop into the mature ova ovum this is the infundibulum and this is the albumen secreting region while the isthmus is the uh, with uh, incomplete uh, in, within complete egg shell secreting gland and the containing shell secreting gland and this is the uterus and this is the vagina and this is the rudimentary right oviduct also and this is the cloaca for penetration so let's begin to understand the egg of the duck it contain a calcium carbonated shell and the yolk contain nutrients like lecithin and other conjugated molecules as well as the vitamin except vitamin C and zygote while the albumin protein is surrounded as a white recolor while this is the pores used for the respiration the breathing for chick development so the male reproductive system is uh, different as compared to hen so because it is a different family duck family 
So in this way here you can see the epidermis and testicles contain epidermis and this is the kidney and this is the penis, the reproductive organ, the copulatory organ and this is the testes remember and this is the kidney uh, left and right also kidney present and vast difference is also present used for the uh, sperm transformation into the female and this is the ureter and the cloaca and here is uh, the seminal vesicle and the spermatic duct and the penis so this is a the long piece their penis sometimes reaching considerable length 9.8 inches for a uh, uh, ruddy duct and this is more long as much as possible for insertion of the sperm so you can watch in this video to understand better so that is why it is secreting the sperm so in this video we have discussed about the reproductive system of duck i hope you make sense about this if you like this video please make sure to subscribe like and share and thanks for watching bye